Dear students, uh, now we are going to start with the second type of uh, companies related to the financial institutions, which is going to be insurance companies. So we are going to uh, speak about insurance accounting, inshallah. Uh, first, uh, as we started with BICS, we are going to start with the financial statements related to insurance companies. We are going to, five, uh, to find that there will be uh, six types of these statements. First, the life insurance revenues and expenses. Second, the general insurance revenues and expenses. Third, the income statement. And then the income statement or the income distribution statement. And then the balance sheet and then the cash flow. So this means we will mainly find two sub um, income statements related to life and general insurance and then we are heading to the main statements income statement balance sheet and cash flow statement and added a distribution statement related to the income when we head to the uh, life insurance expense statement and revenues available First, we are going to start with uh, the revenues, of course. We will find that uh, we have direct premiums uh, directly from customers to us when they are related to this type of insurance. And plus the N-word, which means other companies uh, making reinsurance premiums into our own company. And then outward, which means that we are going to uh, reinsure uh, some of our customers into other companies. After applying the plus and minus perspective, we are going to uh, get to the net premiums. And then uh, plus or minus the change in reserve fund as of beginning of the period and end of the period. We will plus the uh, beginning of the period and minus the ending of the period to find the change uh, of this reserve. And then earn premiums uh, will be the final result that comes out of this uh, equation and then uh, we are going to uh, add uh, some items uh, according to uh, revenues related to that type of business which means uh, the reinsurance commissions related to outward and the net income from investment and the other direct revenues this will lead to what we call total revenue and then we will head to expenses as of total bait claims when uh, someone against his own insurance according to the uh, whatever uh, rules related to his own insurance policy and then there will be plus the inward reinsurance claims and negative the outward reinsurance claims this will lead to the net claims and this is the main expenses related to that uh, category of insurance and then we are to get the effect of uh, the change in outstanding claims provision. So by uh, adding the outstanding claims provision at the end of the period and uh, negative the outstanding claims provision at the beginning of the period, this will lead to total claims as provided to the case. And then we will add the direct commission and then the uh, production cost if there is any. Uh, then we will add the general and uh, administrative expense and the commercial provisions. This will lead to total expenses. Uh, of course, we can find the, or the surplus or the uh, deficit related to that type of insurance by making the matching between total revenues and total expenses. Second type, which is general insurance revenues and expenses statement, we will find the same idea almost. Uh, it will be revenues as of direct premiums and inward insurance premiums. Uh, maybe uh, outward is going to be available in the next step, which is going to be outward reinsurance premium to get to the net premiums. Of course, we can put them together, but uh, to find details for the uh, viewer or the decision maker. So the net premium is going to be as provided here after applying the calculations. And then we are to add the uh, provision effect, uh, the change 
which means uh, plus uh, the unexpired risk provision at the beginning of the period and negative the unexpired risks provision at the end of the period. So we start uh, with plus for the beginning and minus for the end to get to the uh, earned premiums. And then we are going for the outward insurance commission and the net income from investments and the other direct revenues to reach the total uh, revenue uh, that we can uh, collect during the uh, fiscal year and then at uh, the other side or on the other hand we can find expenses for paid claims directly and inward uh, reinsurance claim, claims and then negative the outward reinsurance claims uh, the same perspective from the uh, first type of insurance stand alone and then uh, the change uh, in outstanding claims provision, we can go by uh, positive or adding the provision at the end of the, of the period for the outstanding claims, and then uh, negative the outstanding of the beginning uh, claims provision at the beginning of the period. Uh, this will lead to total claims. And then we can uh, add the uh, effect of the changes in the reserve uh, fluctuations uh, provision uh, of course it's going to be uh, fluctuations provision at the end of the period is going to be uh, plus and negative the uh, fluctuation provision at the beginning of uh, the period uh, and of course uh, we can add to uh, also the changes of the additional uh, technical provision uh, by uh, adding the uh, end of period provision and negative the beginning of the period provision. And then we are going to add uh, direct commissions and uh, reinsurance commissions and production cost and then adding administrative and general expenses and commercial uh, provision, provisions. Now heading to the main income statement, uh, as you can see it's going to be uh, the uh, accumulation of the past two uh, categories related to insurance, which means life insurance and general insurance. So uh, if you trace it, you will find that we are just accumulating these two types by getting the surplus from these two life insurance and general insurance to get the total. And then um, we head to general investment and other revenues this will lead to the total uh, revenues available. And then minus the depreciation and the other provisions and the other expenses, then this will lead to income before extra extraordinary items. And then the extraordinary items must be uh, maybe plus or minus according to the case. This will lead to income before taxes. And then we are to deduct the tax uh, income, tax related to our income. Then this leads to the net income. Uh, of course, we can calculate the earnings per share if required. And then we are going to the income distribution statement. Uh, this means uh, the net income is going to be as um, first to be added to the retained earnings at the beginning of the year uh, to uh, lead to net income available for distribution. Uh, this will lead to distributed as follows. A part goes to legal reserve and then general reserve and then dividends to shareholders and then employee dividends and then board of directors dividends and the ending balance of earnings will be remaining at the end of the year as of to uh, complete the equation uh, to get to the total given amount uh, analyzed. Then we are heading to the balance sheet. When we head to the balance sheet, you will find that the balance sheet is almost like any other type of company uh, with a slight difference related to depositing our deposits part. Uh, so uh, the main perspective, we will find assets, we will find liabilities, we will find equity, but we will find some different items related to the type of business. So here we can find that there is cash and financial investments which is time deposits, treasury pill bonds, and tradable securities and investment securities, the loans and long-term investments. Uh, then, and if 
we have a real estate investment, uh, total investments to be given. So a part related to financial investments and a part related to real estate investments. And uh, then we have uh, insurance accounts receivables as of net and insurance and reinsurance uh, companies receivables and then other receivables and then heading to fixed assets as of net. This will lead to total assets. And of course, we will find that there will be liabilities and uh, these liabilities mainly uh, will be related to uh, policy uh, holders payable mainly as of uh, provisions related to life and general insurance. And uh, of course, after this, we uh, will find the uh, ins insurance and reinsurance companies payable and then normal accounts payable and other provisions this will lead to total liabilities but when we hit to the equity part we will find it similar like other types of business completely and now heading to the cash flow uh, statement uh, this means that we have uh, operating activities uh, if we are looking to operating activities we will have cash inflows from premiums uh, interest received and dividends uh, this will lead to total cash inflows for cash outflows it will be uh, claims and interest paid uh, when we get uh, the net of this will be the net cash flows from operating activities and when we head to investing activities it will be a uh, sale uh, if we are heading to inflows sale of property and fixed assets sale of financial investments and uh, for cash outflows it will be purchase of fixed assets and cash paid for financial investment to get the net of these two we will get to the net cash flows from investing activities and then we will head to the cash flows from financing activities inflows and outflows of course inflows by uh, having proceeds from uh, issuing bonds and issuing of common shares and then outflows uh, as of paid dividends uh, going to be happening uh, then we will head to the uh, net cash flow from investing activities and uh, by getting the um, uh, uh, addition or adding the main three uh, uh, net cash flows from operating investing and financing we will find the net cash flow of the year added it to adding it to the net uh, adding sorry the net cash flow of the year to the uh, beginning cash balance we will head to the end cash balance Dear students, now you can practice the preparation of uh, statements according to the next giving examples uh, by just uh, uh, preparing the financial statements as required. Here, in the first case, you have to prepare the life insurance uh, revenues and expenses statement, and in the second one here, you will prepare the um, general insurance revenues and expenses statement. And then the third one, preparing the income statement, which is just a direct application. And then the fourth one to prepare the balance sheet. And the last one is to prepare the cash flow statement. Uh, now, inshallah, we are going to uh, how to prepare our own entries when we are dealing with collecting our own premium. So to record our revenues or our premium, uh, first starting with general premium so this means we are going to do uh, the next coming entries direct premium due this means accounts receivable insurance transaction will be debited with using of a subsidiary which is outstanding premiums and then total premium will be credited and take care about the word accounts payable. Accounts payable is referring to taxation mainly. So when we are doing our business, we have some part related to an amount related to tax fees. So we are going to gather this part into this account, which is accounts payable and pay it to the authorities. Uh, this would be a dues and other credit balance as of a subsidy related to the accounts payable. And then when we are to collect the <coughs> premium, it will be cash and banks debited 
and the current account at the bank will be subsidiary and then the account receivable as mentioned in the uh, main uh, last uh, entry debited will be credited as closed by collecting the cash and then the outstanding premium will be available as of a subsidiary too. Then the third and last entry which is going to be accounts payable, other credit balances uh, be paid from uh, cash and banks credited here and the two subsidies will be used and the other credit balances as of the main one debited and the uh, other one which is going to be for cash and banks the current account uh, at the bank as you have an example uh, if total premium due for the period was two million uh, supervision controls stamp fees were five down a uh, collected premium during the period is a one million and two hundred thousand dollars so the first entry will be as uh, mentioned earlier account receivable insurance transactions as uh, using the uh, outstanding premium as a subsidiary for the two million and five because the five will be added to the main uh, premium uh, expected to be collected then we will have the uh, total premium as of credit account for two million dollars and the accounts payable related to other credit uh, balances for the five thousand will be credited to and then we have dues uh, and other uh, credit balances for the five thousand as of subsidiary when we collect cash and banks is going to be a million two hundred and the current account at the bank uh, provided its number will be uh, the subsidiary and then the accounts of insurance transaction will be credited by the 1,200,000 and then the outstanding premium will be a subsidiary for that account then for the last one which is the payment of provision or the stamp fees uh, this means the accounts payable and other credit balances will be uh, debited by 5,000 and the um, amount related to the subsidiary which is 5,000 will be uh, related to the account dues and other credit balances and then the cash at the and banks will be uh, credited for 5000 and the current account at the bank is going to be uh, credited uh, sorry used as a subsidiary for that credit balance uh, for the inward reinsurance premium we will use uh, when uh, it's due insurance uh, reinsurance companies uh, debited local companies will be a subsidiary and then the total premium is going to be credited and when collecting cash and banks will be debited for current accounts at the bank number is going to be provided as subsidiary and then the insurance and reinsurance companies are going to be credited and then the local company is going to be used as of a subsidiary and then provided this to apply uh, if the total um, uh, inward reinsurance premium was uh, $200,000 and the company uh, collect the same amount later. So we are going to apply directly to the um, uh, entries as of insurance reinsurance companies debited by the 200,000 and local companies will be subsidiary 200,000 and the total premium is going to be credited for the 200,000. And then when collecting the amount the cash and banks will be debited for the 200,000 and using the current accounts at the bank as of a subsidiary by the 200,000 for that account and then insurance and reinsurance company companies will be credited uh, to close what we opened in the uh, last uh, entry and then we are going to use the name of the local company as of a subsidiary to that account and then to go to the outward reinsurance here is the other uh, face of the coin uh, from the last um, uh, entry uh, for the outward insurance premium uh, we are going to the outward reinsurance companies first and insurance and reinsurance companies will be credited in that case and then local company name will be available as of a subsidiary and then 
when we uh, pay the outward reinsurance, we are going to close the insurance and reinsurance companies as uh, debited and then pay the cash and banks credit. And we are going to use the two uh, subsidiary account, the first for the debit one, which is the name of the local company, and the second for the cash and banks by setting the current account of the bank number as of a subsidiary in that case. Uh, to apply that, uh, if the outward reinsurance uh, transaction were 50% of the premium located in Egypt, which is which was sorry, uh, two million dollars. So, uh, preparing our own accounts directly, the outward reinsurance companies, which is one million, uh, as of a premium value uh, available, uh, the insurance the reinsurance companies will be uh, set as of a subsidiary. Uh, local company by the 1 million and the insurance and reinsurance companies will be credited for uh, 1 million. Uh, in the second, when we are to pay, we will close the insurance and reinsurance companies by turning it from credit into debit and uh, we setting the name of the local company as of a subsidiary and then cash and banks will be credited directly and then current account at the bank will be uh, a subsidiary. And then we, we are heading for the commission. Uh, the commission, as provided to your case, will be uh, entered as preparing the next entry. Insurance and reinsurance companies uh, will be debited and the local company name will be subsidiary. And then the outward insure, reinsurance commission is going to be used as a credit account. To apply that directly, if the outward reinsurance commission due is a 200,000, we will apply directly as uh, provided to your own uh, slide.